What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Hopefully you got to watch a lot of the good racing out there. There was a lot of good racing out there. This time we're going to talk about Formula E, the debut of the Sao Paulo e Prix, their first time there. You know, third straight race in a brand new city for the sport, which is good. It's growing. That helps everything. You know, it helps cars, sponsorships, everything get better. So if you, you know, have to just go on the search, Formula E, boom, it pops up. Set the DVR, check one out, and it pops up. I don't think it'll let you down. It was a good race. The racing has been far superior this year. Over the last, I'll just say, you know, with the new car, new tire, I'm not going to say, for, you know, yeah, screw it, far superior. There's more passing, more people working their way through the field, which is overall better. This race is 31 scheduled. They added four because of safety cars. A lot of hell broke loose, but on a pause note, I said, let's see what Stoffel Van Dorn can do. He was on pole for the first time in the 2023 season, the defending champion. So that's good to see him finally, you know, doing good after a rough couple of races. You know, Antonio Felix da Costa was second. And like I said, so many people had issues throughout the race. A lot of them are right at the start. Um, the first couple laps, especially, it seemed never ending. Never ending. Like there was. A lot of things that happened, but the did not finish list goes to Jake Dennis, Eduardo Mortara, Sasha Fenestras, Nico Mueller, and Norman Nato. Sadly, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Stoffel didn't get the win, but he did get a bunch of laps led. He was just pulling the field, so he's using more energy. So we moved back, and that's pretty much the end of it. Mitch Evans was first, Nick Cassidy second, Sam Bird third, Antonio Felix da Costa fourth. John Eric Vern fifth, Stoffel Van Dorn sixth, best finish of the season. He needed it. And points leader Pascal Verline came in seventh. And he held on to his point lead. He's up by Jake Dennis over 24 points. Nick Cassidy's third, you know, 25 back. Antonio Felix da Costa is fifth. Mitch Evans is ninth. And Stoffel Van Dorn is 11th, most points of the season. And again, after getting zero points the first two races, he's now got points in three straight. So you know, that's good progress. Again, everyone, you know, don't freak out. And again, if you know his name from F1, yes, that's the same guy. But new car, you know, for this season, new tire, new manufacturer for him all together, new team, because, you know, his team who won the championship wasn't there anymore. Like, so there's a lot of new stuff for him to figure out. And how many people go over to new teams and, you know, immediately just shoot and start winning races right away, except for, like, you know, Kevin Harvick, look what he did. Uh Kenseth, when he went to Gibbs and suddenly was just popping off races there in NASCAR, like it doesn't happen all the time. So, you know, it took time, and at least he's looking better now. So far, there are a bunch of drivers that don't have any points through the first four races, which sucks, but Maximilian Gunther, Nico Mueller, Robin Freens, and Kelvin Vanderlind don't have any points so far this season. They've had a really, you know, rough go of it. In all honesty, you know, they get caught up in there's been a bunch of other people's stupidity that has caught up a bunch of people. You know, car malfunction stuff that they have to work on, you know, mechanical things. But a lot of stupid. Hopefully they get some. I don't like seeing anyone's like F1, no matter what, you don't want to see people getting blanked out of points the whole season. You know, it's you're already out there knowing you're struggling. You know, it's tough to sit there and see that. And then you're gonna get all the questions of well, what the hell is wrong? What can you fix when you're doing everything you can to try to fix it? So hopefully they get points out of it, but it was another good debut. I enjoyed the racing. Lots of chaos. I mean, right out the bat. Chaos, chaos, chaos. People losing wings, all kinds of stuff, like the drop of a hat at the beginning of the race. So, yeah, that kind of sucked at the beginning. Um, one of the best races of the season, but it was still better than most of the races I saw last year. New cars doing, you know, its thing, the new tire, all of that, and they delivered yet again. So please set the DVRs. Sorry, just watch one. See if you like it. Hopefully it's not an off weekend, but type in Formula E in the search. Click the buttons. Problem solved. Helps them keep growing. And I'm really excited for you know, the rest of the season just because it's been so good. But thank you for watching and listening. Don't forget YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Spotify for Anch Podcasters, which is, you know, Anchor. They just, you know, upgraded the whole thing to themselves, put their name in the name. Funny. You can leave voice messages on there. You can also... Leave financial support to help the show, which helps everything. I appreciate it all. But check out the rest of the stuff from the weekend because there was a lot of racing all over the place. Share the hell out of every single one of them so I don't have to, and it gets new eyeballs on. Everything only takes a few seconds, and I greatly appreciate more than you'll ever know. And until we meet again, everyone, peace. I'm out. Bye.